Welcome viewers. We have Mr. Heman Kumar with us. First of all, Mr. Kumar, welcome to Business World. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to know from you what are the discrepancies when it comes to depart uh, law department in, in corporates and how those loopholes or gaps can be plugged in, if you can comment on that. See, it depends uh, on the, how mature the legal department is. And uh, being a legal head, you should know what are the uh, loopholes, not only of your department, but the organization also. And it is our prime duty to plug it through your experience. And if you are unable to contribute, mm -hmm. you should not sigh away of uh, outsourcing those things to the outsider and seek their views. Because uh, if any leakage is there, it, it may cost a huge uh, uh, loss to the organization. All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, you can seek the outside. Yeah. If that is quiet. the best way. That is the best mm. way. Uh, if you have to, uh, you know, describe your experience of the event, what, what is your experience? See, let me it? tell you that uh, it's an excellent uh, uh, event, good platform for the GC. And uh, since I'm in this profession of GC for the last uh, 38 years, uh, there was no such platform for the GC because, uh, uh, because people didn't have the complete idea what role GC have been performing for the last uh, more than two, three decades. And uh, a, a, a kudos to Dr. Anurag Batra and his team uh, who has uh, uh, created such a beautiful platform. And that platform will indeed motivate the youngster. Of course, seniors are also joining this platform, but uh, uh, youngster also feels elevated that they are coming here, they are listening, uh, uh, to the seniors, they are getting an award because award, uh, uh, getting an award is also a motivational factor for anybody. So, uh, kudos to uh, uh, Dr. Batra. All right. If you have to give our viewers a taste of the evolving role of GCs uh, in today's business scenario, in today's scenario, what, what would you say on that? See, uh, uh, many times I have spoken on this subject, uh, the role what I have been performing uh, 25 years, 30 years back, that has completely changed. Today, GC is the partner of the business. They are part of the board. And uh, therefore, uh, GC is not only to look into the litigation or merger acquisition, but also ensure the protection to the brand value, protect the overall interest of the board, and also be pro, uh, I, I think, proactive before anything is, uh, uh, is taken against the organization, GC should aware that these are the things which we need to uh, handle it. And uh, uh, second important thing is the organization also giving a lot of respect to the GC. So it's the vice versa. Uh, GC has done an excellent job and organization is also providing a better opportunity to the GC. All right. So uh, it's the, the role has changed and it's more participatory, more yes, as an advisory yes. role in this. Right. Not uh, only advisory, but okay. you have become a business partner. Today you are sitting with the, your uh, board member, you are sitting with the, uh, with, the, with the top management, sharing your views that suppose you, tomorrow you go for the merger or you are going to acquire something, uh, some company, what are the challenges, how those challenges can you address. Earlier it, was, it used to be the only the discussion among the top management. Today right. you are the part of the management and therefore you are contributing and they are giving proper attention and respect to GC advice. So part of the decision making yes, process. Yeah. We can say. Uh, if you have to point out some of the parameters uh, which are taken into consideration while taking a decision, uh, what are those parameters and how much is the accountability falling on GCs on this? See, the most important part for any, any, any assignment is the role's clarity. That if suppose uh, I, I am acquiring a, a, some, some uh, company, then Say somebody is company secretary, somebody is the GC, somebody is the finance uh, expert finance. So roles are defined very clearly. Timeline is also given very clearly, and the most important part the strategy. So we we also decide our strategy that what are the uh, challenges we may have to face if you are going for that acquisition, and when those roles, challenges, the strategy are defined clearly at the threshold, then I think most of uh, your problems are resolved. Yeah. Sometimes this strategy or roles needs to be amended 
depending on the challenges. Suppose you are going for the acquisition, you will start something and then coronavirus is started. So that time you need to change your strategy. Then you can just stop it for some time and then go ahead. So these are the important things. So a visionary role as yes. well as an impromptu role. If yeah. Anything yeah. is required. Correct. Correct. Taking Correct. a quick decision on that. So it was a pleasure talking to you, Mr. Kumar. Thank you so much for being nice with us. Nice meeting you. I also enjoyed talking to Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, dear.